Yes, sir. Stop yawning. Fuck. I swear to God, every time I start recording, I start yawning as well. Mother. F what is up, my good people? The name is Pixel Love, and we are back again with another episode of Earthbound. And since the last episode, I have finally took my meds. I am out of Moonside, and I am no longer in Trippy Whatsitsville. Instead, I'm here in the Dusty Dunes Desert. Because last episode, I was told that this Talarama guy, or the fuck he is, wanted to speak to me. Even though I've already came up to him, he didn't want to say jack shit. And all of a sudden, I need to come back over here. A WTF moment. Uh, what is this? Do you have a skip sandwich? I'll move away if you give me one. Give me one. I don't have one. Want to eat a picnic lunch? Dog! Really? Really? I have to... Buy, I have to buy something just to give it to these assholes? You gotta be fucking kidding me here. I just wanted... I just want to find Paul or, or whatever. I don't want to talk with this dipshit Talarama or whatever the fuck he is. Irrelevant. Just like this mole over here. Irrelevant. I don't know what is it with these moles' problem. Ever since I lost Paula, all of them have started to try to gang up on me. Even though they keep getting neutralized immediately, so... I, I ended up getting a picnic lunch and a skip sandwich for these fucks. God, I already don't like this music. Yes, I already I have a skip sandwich here, you little munchkin, whatever. Relevant, I swear to God. Uh, do I fight them? Look at that! Let's go, baby. This. Whoa! It's a wet towel. Fucking. <laughs> really? Protein drink? You're kidding me! I just sold one! Pizza? I don't e I don't think I have a pizza. Yeah, I don't think- I think- Yeah, Paula was the one with the pizza, was she not? And of course, I don't have Paula. She's gone. God, are we really gonna have to be doing this goddamn maze? Yes, I have a picnic lunch for you. God, who, who thought this was a good idea? Here, I'm just gonna beat these guys right away so I have some form of entertainment. Because this clearly. Boring as shit. Whoa! There's a pizza. Hey, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Feel hot in here. My fur's all sweaty. A wet towel. Well, would you look at that? I have a wet towel. What do you have over here? Whoa! It's a hamburger. Whoa, there's a real all right. I'm not gonna beat around the bush If something f f if something cool happens, I'll tell y'all but for Right now, I think I'll just Breeze through the rest of this because this isn't even worth me trying to make commentary on All right, so I am back That took way more Longer than I thought it would but in the end I did get some Nice items out of this. I ended up getting this flame pendant, which I put it on Ness because uh, Jeff already has the night pendant. What else, did I, what else did I get? I also got this bag of Dragonite, I believe. I sent it to the Escargot Express store because I needed to go back and like get some stuff and whatnot. And what else? This is Ness. God damn it. For Jeff, there was a broken tube, I believe it was, so I quickly went back and fixed it, and it's now a hungry HP sucker, which 
from what I was looking at, it's actually better than the regular HP sucker. So I put that in Escargo Express as well, and I found this neutralizer, which says here that it's supposed to reset the abilities. Render enemy. And it also neutralizes shields and whatnot. So abilities like, like it says over here, offense, defense, and guts. Guts. So I think that would be, I think that's a hella useful device, at least for Jeff. And as you can see here, we have a giant gray pencil, which I may have not remembered about. Luckily, we have pencil eraser. Let's fucking go! Take that, goddamn pencil! Here we, here we are. I wanted to talk with the monkey first, man. Stop moving, you fuck! I've been waiting for you. Okay. The truth of space and time moves through the universe like a wave. Truth speaks through space and matter and makes itself known to human beings. I was here waiting for you, and you came. This was destined to happen. In truth, all is predetermined. You see, Rico? This is what I was talking about. This is what I was talking about on the Leftovers episode of the podcast. Everything is predetermined. Ness, Paula, Jeff, and... Ooh. Is that the um, is that the fourth character that I named? When these four powers gather, twisted space will bring back peace to the world. Do you understand? It doesn't matter. Proceed as you wish. Open the treasure box and take what is inside with you. Come in search of this. Someone left it behind in the hole. Not carry anything else. Why don't you get rid of something you will need? You will need this gourmet yogurt machine. Oh shit! Finally, I have the gourmet yogurt machine. You know what? Fuck this picnic lunch. Fuck this hamburger. And I need to get rid of something else. God damn it. I have a lot of good stuff. Uh, I hope... This thing only has like 100 HP, so fuck the teddy bear. Yes, 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 Senor Tolerama. Please give me the gourmet yogurt machine. Because I completely forgot about that. In the treasure box, yada yada yada. Yes. Gourmet yogurt machine. The adventure that lies ahead won't be easy. I'll give you a special skill to help you move through the space as you wish. Learn the skill from the monkey over there. I'd like to learn a special power. That's wonderful. Speak to the monkey over there. Yeah, give me a moment. Let me just open this up. Whoa! There's a brain food lunch. Brain food lunch. I'm assuming this gives me PSI powers back. Thirty, three hundred HP and, and fifty. Yeah, I'm keeping that for yes. A cup of life noodles. I'll take it. Even though I always send my cup of life noodles to the fucking Escargo Express, I'll take it. Teach you teleport. Hey, teleportation. Let's go. Oh, for fuck's sakes! I need to find my way back out of here again. A take. I like the Earthbound OST. I really do. But this song isn't if is it? It isn't it, Chief. It's not a banger. Sorry, not sorry. All right, monkey. Teach me this teleportation because I would very much appreciate it. I'll do a teacher's demonstration. If you can learn this. You can go anywhere you've been previously. Go there instantly. Skill can't be used in a room or underground, though. Cool! I didn't see any of that. All I just saw was a monkey running. I went to Foresight and returned. I showed you the basic straight course, but you can also build up enough speed while turning. Yo, you can turn? Let's go. The teacher's going home now. Why is this thing drifting? Why was my fucking controller always drifting? 
Ooh, this is interesting. I can go to Winters now. I might go there. Just I might go there just so I can see what what other crap they have over there. Um, but you know, let's go to on it. Can I turn? Oh shit! I can't turn. He wasn't kidding. All right. To on it. Is it on it or is it one it? Oh my god, the beautiful city of on it. I'm back, baby! You're damn right, I'm back, baby! Oh, I miss this music. I miss everything over here. I miss the colors. I miss the vibrant atmosphere and whatnot. Fuck, I meant. No, oh, I keep pressing. I'm pressing the wrong button! I'm pressing B! Where do I go? Where do I go? Saturn Valley, ladies and gentlemen. No! Oh shit! Wait a minute, how am I even able to go back? Yeah, I just realized that. How am I able to go back? I doubt the Saturns have anything more that I could want. But you never know. Right? What do you got here, my G? That is the wrong Saturn. Talk to this one. Let me talk to this one, damn it. And it's pointless. Alright, whatever. I'm still debating whether or not I, I want to go to Winters right now. But in all seriousness, I should probably go to Foresight first. The question is whether or not I can go to Foresight with this. Fuck! I should have. I should have thought of that this sooner. God damn it! Let me move! This is bad. <laughs> this is bad. I don't want to be stuck in Saturn Valley. Alright, I'll figure out a way. I'll figure out a way. Alright. I managed to make it out back into the city of Foresight. And now that I have the gourmet machine, I actually don't know what else I should do. Actually, the first thing I should really probably do is go to Escargo Express and leave a lot of this crap behind. I'm also curious about something. Just one little thing I can still do here in, in Foresight. Well, I guess I'm here in the hotel, so I guess I'll have to wait for, for a moment. Okay, so I'm back. And after much deliberation, and hopefully that's the right word that I'm using, I will not be going to Winters until I get Paula back. Now, fortunately, I was able to get rid of a lot of equipment that I didn't need over here with Ness. Unfortunately, I can't say the same with Jeff. Honestly, I feel like I should probably, I could probably get rid of the Shield Killer now that I have the Neutralizer. But whatever. In any case, I found this maid, um, the one who asked me about the yog about the yogurt thingamajig. Gourmet yogurt, whatever. And if I remember correctly, didn't the cafe say that this that this was Pokey's made Electra or something like that? Kept asking around for yogurt with travel flavor yogurt, but what? You have a yogurt dispenser? Okay, she took it. My room's on the 48th floor. Yeah, yeah, this this has to be Pokey's made. This has to be Pokey's made. Well, no reason to beat around the bush now. I got four big old bottle rockets. Oh, she's on the Pokey's on the 47th floor. As I was saying, I have four big old bottle rockets that I can use to shove it up Pokey's ass. So everything will be going smoothly for me, especially with uh, my caliber, level 4741. I feel like I should be able to take on these guys. And this is the one that's supposed to go to the 48th. 
Aren't you Ness? Mr. Monotoil's maid, Electra, told me about you. I'll take you to Mr. Monotoil's office on the 48th floor. Only you may go. What? Am I now gonna have my boy Jeff? No, Jeff? If I can't, if I can't have my boy Jeff with me, then I'm taking the teddy bear. A robot bodyguards patrolling the floor, be careful. Interesting, interesting. Secret code, please. Say your code in 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Well, what do you want me to say? <laughs> uh, I doubt he has PSI. And 105. Aww, the teddy bear! <laughs> Shoot! No! A poor teddy bear. Well, on the bright side, no one got hurt. Oh, there goes a teddy bear. Oh, come on! Really? I have to deal with more of these guys. Alright, if I just attack them. Twice? No. Dude, come on! What was that? Why are you missing, dude? Come on! Also, I just realized Jeff really took a beating. How do you guys miss a robot? He's right in there in front of you! Oh, lord. I should have not done that. Uh, let's see here. It's Jeff's max HP. Uh, I'll just do life up alpha. What's in this first door? Nobody? Okay, so these two doors just lead to each other, so. No reason to go through those doors anymore. Here we have another robot fuck. I get it, you're just gonna go 7654221. Yeah, you see? Didn't even give me the full five, 10 seconds. Mm, get the hell out of here. Can we get a smash? Can we get a smash? Ness! How? Why are you missing? Why? It's right in front of you. We're gonna die if you don't hit him. Thank you. How many times do you have to miss? Supposed to not miss, dude. We don't miss. Oh, fuck. I don't understand this at all. And this one just leads me out over here. Okay. No reason to go through that one then. Or if I go through here. Here's another one. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 2, 2, 1. Alright, I get it. You all eat glue. Unfortunately, you do you never underestimate the Ness. Even if we do miss. You do not underestimate the Ness. Or the Jeff, I guess. Jeff as well. But mostly the Ness. Well, just tell me where Paula is, you know. I wanna get her out of here. Maybe head to Winters. Get some good equipment. I'm just gonna get the hell out of there. Where is over here? Electra, you fuck! Your trout flavored yogurt, sir. Master Pokey's cool. He gave me something the other day and said, This is fit for a maid. Alright, you're messed in the head if you think Pokey is cool. I'm sorry. I needed to be the first one to tell you that, but actually, I shouldn't be sorry. A vital capsule. I'm assuming that's supposed to increase my vitality. If I remember correctly. Isn't my val my vitality supposed to dictate how much HP I get? Well, I'll find out right after I beat this little bit <laughs> little bitch. Okay, so after learning, uh, so after uh, digging a little bit more deeper, and after 
a, an actual successful robot called in for backup. Holy shit. Yeah, Vitality is used uh, for HP level up, which means that I can only give this to Jeff. That's his only means. Before I do that, I actually want to see what's in here first. A sudden guts pill. Interesting, interesting. Let's do that, and I'm gonna just do that. That way, whatever the hell that thing was coming at me or whatnot, I'll just be able to beat the absolute crap out of it. Now, now that I'm thinking about it, wasn't there another room over here with a metal door that I didn't go through? This was the metal door, okay. So I should have gone through everything. Hopefully this maze wasn't the worst. That's the wrong room. We go through here. That's the electress room. Ping, clack, clackety, clackety. Blank. I have a really good idea. How about we this? What do we have Jeff what can Jeff do over here? I doubt the slime generator is gonna do anything at all. I doubt uh, he's gonna be able to get anything for PSI. Let's actually use this hungry HP uh, sucker. 121. Ooh, I'm liking the sound of this. You know, just, just for shits and giggles, let's also throw out a uh, big ball rocket. What? <laughs> oh my god, my HP, no! Keeps going down! How much, how much HP am I actually losing? Come on, let's hurry the fuck up. How much HP did I actually lose? Oh my god, that's way too much. No! <laughs> no! Fuck, dude. Recover, damn it. A B is supposed to be the one with 300, if I remember correctly. Alright, we'll do that. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Big Wild Rocket did not work on him, for fuck's sakes. Slime Generator! Let's go! That actually worked! Shh, hit him! Hit him! Hit him! How? Miss! Uh, uh, just use it again. Just use it again. Let's go! Ness, you fuck. Come on, Ness! Smash him! Smash him! I gave you the sudden guts pill for a reason! Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Oh my god, Ness, you fuck! Oh no. Come on, Ness! Ness, you absolute living fuck! Uh, just... How, how is he dodging? How is he dodging all of this? I got a better, I got a better solution. Better solution. Way better solution. Oh no. He had a psychic shield this entire time? Is Ness dead? Yeah, Ness is dead. Fuck! How was I supposed to know he had a psychic shield this entire time? I have to do this thing all over again. One of us, two enemies, blah 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 blah. Uh, just going to do it again, so. I'll do it on Jeff. Now, Jeff, I want you to. Do I want him to neutralize him or do I want to kill the shield killer right altogether? Neutralize them, see how that works.
All right, cool. I just I just put on the <laughs> shield for Jeff. I don't know if that worked or whatnot. So, shield killer. Okay, so hopefully I took care of the shield. Uh, let's just flash him because I don't want him shooting me at all. Jeff, you know what to do. Let's go! Let's go! I'm finally gonna be able to beat the shit out of him! I need to eat a sandwich. He's a robot! Well, at least he definitely seems a lot more neutralized. He's not firing anything anymore. Why? Why is he still? <laughs> Why is he still dodging? Oh fuck! On the bright side, there's that. Can we just kill him, please? Do I need to rock his world? Actually, that's a good idea. Why didn't I do that earlier? It's time to rock his world! Come on, Ness. Let's go! What? Okay. Okay. This is just... All of a sudden, some guys rushed into the room. Was the Runaway 5? Excuse me? <laughs> Lucky quickly ducked behind the robot. I flipped the switch then it stopped. Jeez, what a loser robot. It was so easy to stop. That's quick thinking. Really, somebody... Is this guy... Is this, is this like the Metaton? Are we just supposed to go behind him and just flip the switch? I did all of that for nothing. Uh, at, the, at the very least, I at least leveled up, and at least a runaway five right here. How the hell were they even here? Why did they even follow me here? We would like to pay you back. We'll help you in whatever way we can. Don't have any money? We are strong, however. Let's break into the room next door, except I need to go use the bathroom first. Thought I heard a girl's voice. Next room seems suspicious somehow. Yeah, no kidding. Fuck, I, I lost so much. PSI. I'm gonna just use PSI. I mean, I'm gonna just use Life Up Alpha. Alright, this has to be where Monotail is. Would you look at that? It's a bear. Stop! That's enough! Please stop! I give up! I really do! Hey! Would you look at that? I got my HP and my PSI back. Alright, Monotoil, you fuck! Ness, you finally made it here! I'm fine. I believed you'd come and save me. Mr. Monotoil isn't really a bad person. Yeah, that's what they all say. Shut up and get back with me. <laughs> Take some time to listen to him. Alright, you old fuck. What'd you do? Look at my skinny arms, thin body, and gray hair. i become so weak since I lost the Mani Mani statue. I'm sorry I kidnapped Paula. I haven't done anything to her. Paula is a nice girl. Paula, return to Ness. I'm sorry I've created so much trouble for you. Finally, right where things belong. I'm not trying to objectify or anything like that. I'm just saying this is what should be normal. The guy, like the three bro, the trio. There you go. I'll tell you everything. Mani Mani statue creates an illusion. It attracts evil spirits and weakens your heart. The power scared me so much. I hid the statue in the warehouse at Jackie's cafe. I often went there to pray. Cryptic words appeared to me while I was in the illusion. Ness, your name appeared in the cryptic messages. Stop Ness and do so by your own hand, or. Don't let them go to Summers, or make sure they know nothing of the pyramid. I don't fully understand the messages, but someone obviously doesn't want you to go to Summers. Evil, 
Gygus or something. I could hear the name. Anyway, the evil side would be in trouble if you visit Summers. Oh, on the contrary, you should definitely go to Summers. Especially because they don't want you to make it there. You'd like to hear the whole story again. Honestly, I'm pretty sure I've said yes to every single person <laughs> so far. So, you know, why not? Just, just make them repeat everything that they say. But... Why would they not want me to go to Summers? Well, what's in Summers that is... That... that, that What's in summer is that they just don't want me to go to you. There we go. Finally, I'm st I can stop stuttering. Is there another Mani Mani statue over there that I need to beat? Or something? There <laughs> okay, I am not... I am not gonna do this all over again. Third time was the charm. If he didn't say anything... No reason for me to have uh, repeat it again. FUCKING DRIFT! Summers is located across the ocean. Take my helicopter. I'll open the door to my heliport. Isn't it that thing right on the left? Yeah, I know it. I could tell it was a door. You must go on. Ness, this is your destiny. Paula, it's time we said goodbye. Take care. Hey, let's go! I got my... I got Paula back! Oh, she also has a teddy bear. Alright, let's fucking go! I swear, I thought... I really thought it was gonna be that... That whatchamacallit... Why did he just leave? <laughs> Don't tell me Pokey's there. <laughs> Why do we give Pokey this much power? He's a fat little fuck, little sausage boy who knows Jack shit. Oh my god, I'm about to tear my own hair out. Ness, you pinheaded idiot. You're just a half step too slow. I'm getting out of here. Since Monotone has become a plain old man again, I have no more use for him. This helicopter will really come in handy. Looks like you're a world class loser again. Bye! Why do we give Pokey this much power? Why? <laughs> Alright, Monato, if you're really such the kind gent that you are, then please tell me how to get to how the how do I get to Summers from here? Pokey took the helicopter. I hope he's okay. I hope he's not okay! I hope he crashes and burns! What? What's going on? Ooh, I was a little dizzy, but now I'm okay. To get to Summers, we need to go back to Threed. Yep, somehow I don't- I know that's where we must go. Alright, so I have to go to Threed then. Wow, you guys did a lot while I was in the bathroom. <laughs> you want to get to Threed as soon as possible? We can take you to Threed on our tour bus. I'll get the bus and wait for you just outside the building. Thank you very much, Runaway5. You guys have been a lot more useful to me than that fuck Pokey has been. Thanks for dropping by, even though there's nothing to do, honey. Hey, I thought you were going to say why did Pokey abandon me or leave me or anything like that, but still, why do we give Pokey this much power? Who in the right mind thought to themselves, you know what, I should listen to this kid. Might be a little bit hypocritical for me. To say it, because I'm Ness, and people believe in me, the Ness. Oh my god. Oh, I thought that was my dad. It's the Apple Kid. I've discovered the primary enemy of you and all of humanity. 
We have to fight and defeat this being. To do so, we need to invent a machine called the Phase Distorter. I've got to find the wandering scientist, Dr. Andonuts, and make the distorter. So I may be gone for a while. I was about to say, isn't the phase distorter one of the things that he was working on, Dr. Ananuts? Would an autograph be asking for too much? No, not at all. I mean, you're our. <laughs> Fuck you! You asked me, do you think an autograph from the Runaway 5 would be too much? And I'm like, no, it wouldn't be too much. Just go up to their mask then. But no, lo and behold, you say, I don't want your autograph, silly. Oh, would you look at that? He also took his dad with him. Thank God. So the, why do we give Pokey this much power and influence? What's so good about him? I'm tempted at this point to believe that he might be... That he might be in cahoots with Gygas. Alongside the Mani Mani statue. There, there's just no fucking way. He heard that the world was gonna end by Gygus' hands, and somehow he still managed to be in cahoots with him. What? Who is calling me? This orange kid. Who cares? You didn't do shit. I'm still working on the way to change boiled eggs into raw eggs. It's taking longer than I thought. I'm gonna be ruined. Shut the fuck up. I don't give a shit. Just look it up on YouTube. You can find a way. <laughs> There's no need to wait. Dude, I wanted to go to the department store first. I wanted to get the gold bracelet. On to three. Well, I guess I'll take the epic tour bus ride. But who gave Pokey this much power? Who? I'm gonna be yelling at this through the end of time! This just makes no sense whatsoever why everyone decides to give Pokey this much power! Why do we listen to him? Why do we give him the sphere of influence? And I'm pretty sure this epic tour bus ride is a lot more faster than the one than the regular bus ride. Let's look at us, we're just flying through! And I don't know why, but I'm pretty sure that Torba says Yamaha. <laughs> I could be wrong, but... Whatever, we just needed to get back to 3, right? Should be getting close to a bit. But I I'm just disgusted. I'm disgusted. This is on the level of like Chef Saltbaker and his fucking leaves, like how big that hitbox is. It's disgusting. It's gonna make me puke. Dude, how much ignorance there is in the world. Alright, we made it. I'm sorry we couldn't do more for you. Remember though, we're on your side. When you're having a tough time, just think of our songs and imagine Runaway 5 singing somewhere far, far away. By the way, why did you need to come back here? I must have forgotten some very important item or gadget here. How's that for a guess? Am I close? Well, you don't have to tell me. See you later, and good luck. I really wish this was in the end of the Runaway 5, because at least in 3 they said, Hey, you know what, we're gonna be going to 4 side, but now they're just, they, 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 they just don't tell me anything at all. Wait, they said I needed to go to Summers for 3. Am I assuming that I have to go back near like Saturn Valley or something like that just to go to just to go to Threed? I I only know one thing to do. <laughs> That's to go back to Force Side. Because I still need to buy Polar equipment and whatnot. So I will be right back. Are you here to just say hi? What a loser! Man, what the fuck? I just clicked on the wrong button and you're calling me a loser? Man, Fuck you! I hope you get- I hope you get fired! <laughs> Fuck off! Alright, so I forgot that I kinda made Paula really stacked last time. Cause she has the Platinum Band, which is a lot of defense. So I ended up giving her the Flame Pendant for Ness, and I just bought her the Chef's Fry Pan. There wasn't really much I needed to get for her other than her weapon and whatnot. And I gave Ness the Great Charm once again. Anyways. I think I'll leave it off here for now. 
If you liked the video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Pixel Love, Memento Mori and whatnot, and I will see you lovely people in the city of Winters. Take care everybody! Fuck!